Tomorrow, Governor John Bell Edwards unveils his state budget plans, and corporate tax cuts are on the chopping block. But one local organization worries about the negative ripple effects. A nice but cooler Valentine's weekend than the past two days. I'll track our falling temperatures coming up. Plus, why plans to upgrade the fly into a brand new sports complex has launched a battle over the green space. Live from the French Quarter, this is our witness news at 10. Good evening, I'm Todd Trump. And I'm Natalie Shepard. On Sunday, state lawmakers will come together for a three-week special session tackling the state's budget problems. Just Carl, thank you. Tonight marks a somber anniversary for one New Orleans fan. Well, there's a fight brewing over a new sports complex proposal at the fly behind, behind Audubon Park. One group says it would destroy green space and limit access to the river. Antoine Harris explains what happens next. A group of kids run around a playground at the fly at Audubon Park, but it could look completely different over the next year as the Carrollton Boosters have planned to upgrade the park with a new $4 million sports complex. I think children's sports are great. It's just the location. Because there are many places in the city where you could put a children's sports complex. Bill Ives, who lives nearby, is hoping to drum up support to have the plan scaled down or changed completely. His group is among the first to publicly oppose the next phase of the plans. Dave Summerall, the past president of the Carrollton Boosters, says the growth of the complex is due to the demand for more programs. We came back very strong after Katrina. We worked very closely with NORD, uh, with Audubon now as well, to continue to serve the children of New Orleans. The sports complex is phase three of the Fly Master Plan, and that includes turning this green space into a new pavilion, a playground, a walkway covered with trees, and a pro turf field. Ives says the new complex could turn out to be a bit of an eyesore and overkill. And there's already a baseball field that they put up, and that field is surrounded by a chain link fence with billboards. This is not what we want to see in this beautiful green space. Ives is also concerned the new complex would cut off public access to the area, which Sumrall says won't be the case. We're, we're very cognizant and in no way are we trying to to, to limit access to anyone or to be exclusive or, or anything along those natures. Antoine Harris, Eyewitness News. Ives plans to have a meeting at the fly this Sunday at 2 p.m. and the complex is set to open later this year.